Hello everyone, this is Fora Attacker and today we will learn partitioning. So in the Linux or Rail 7, uh, we need fdisk to make partitions. Okay. So fdisk command is pre-installed in Rail 7 and by fdisk command we can uh, go into the partitions and create new partition and all that. So first I will tell you about uh, BIOS partitioning. The, in the BIOS partitioning, we, we can create maximum four primary partition. Okay. So after making three primary partition, we need fourth to be extended partition. So we could make logical partitions in the extended partition. Okay. Thank you. Then we are starting from F disk. The hard disk name could be dev SDA, dev VDA, or anything. We can find out using F disk hyphen L. Then our hard disk name is dev VDA. So we will type F disk dev vda and now we are in the fdisk command to mode so the linux normal commands will not work here and we can find out help by h so this is the help uh, how can we handle fdisk command so may by make for making a new partition or add a new partition we should use n and uh, after making new partition quit without saving we could use Q and with saving write table to a disk and exit then we could use W ok then it is also very important to see how much partitions on our disk so we could use P to see the partitions ok and one more very much easy and important how to delete a partition we could use d to delete a partition okay so we will start by n adding a new partition so n press n then it is asking for primary and extended if you type p then it will take make it p primary if you will type e then it will make extended if you don't type anything and enter then it will default select p means primary we have two primary partitions and two are free so if we make it primary then nothing to worry because our fourth partition should be extended otherwise what will happen if we have made four partitions of 100 100 mb in a 1 GB hard disk primary then we could not use our 60 M 16 uh, sorry 60 hundred no 600 MB uh, hard disk okay uh, so we will enter for default primary and it is asking for partition number 3 4 default 3 ok 3 and then first sector please enter without typing anything then at the last sector we will write plus and then size size of partition I am giving 200 MB then for MB we will use capital M for GB we will use capital G for KB we will use capital K ok and then enter then partition 3 of type Linux and size of 200 MB is set and then this partition is ready but it is we could not use it because the partition table not loaded on this disk on our current running disk ok so to load that before uh, we want to go outside of fdisk we will use w for save 
and exit if we don't want to save then we will type q but we will type w for save and exit but before that i would like to see our partitions by p so we have new partition the vda3 of 200 m of 200 mb and i will type w for save and exit okay you can see these two line the kernel still uses the old table the new table will be used at the next reboot or after you run part probe so this was uh, i was talking about and uh, so this partition is not loaded on our disk and uh, we should use or we have to use part probe command to load at run time if you will reboot then it will load automatically but in the storage systems we can't reboot so we will use part probe it will load okay and now this is a proper partition okay so after making a partition we have to format it to use then uh, we can we we can use mkfs dot xfs xfs is the latest file system in linux and mkfs mean make file system okay make file system dot xfs and then partition name that is vda3 okay and we have formatted a partition by xfs file system file system is like uh, if we have water sorry air in a glass and we want to fill water in it so when we will fill water the air will go outside so it is a environment for the glass okay like that this is an environment for this there are different different uh, file systems in linux windows and other operating systems uh, they have different different um, they have started different different environments in but in specifically in linux we have ext2 ext3 ext4 and then xfs uh, from ext2 to xfs the maturity comes in the file system uh, xfs is have very new innovations uh, and uh, new techniques in that so we have uh, formatted it from xfs okay so the first work is make a partition then second work is uh, format the partition then the third work is mount a partition okay uh, because we if we want to use a partition then we have to mount the partition so for mounting a partition we should create a directory mkdir uh, i would like to make a directory on desktop no no on slash um, i am making my okay then for mount uh, first work is make a partition second work is format the file system and third work is mount so the command is mount and then partition name the vda3 and then <coughs> mount point slash my so before mounting we have to make the mount point first so i have created a, a directory slash my by mkdir my okay so now this partition is mounted and we can use this partition to fill up data okay so how to watch how to see then we can use df hyphen h capital t then this is the new partition 
dev video 3 formatted by xfs size is approximately 200 mb and uh, mounted at slash my okay so this is all about uh, how to make a partition and how to start using a partition so now we can go to slash my and fill up this uh, space we can make files here so I am making uh, thousands of files in this partition and this is done ok so these all are the empty files empty thousand files ok so this was the short tip for from me uh, to make a number of files or directories at a time by single command without loop ok so this was a small tip from me in the next tutorial we will learn uh, how to make LVM how to extend the LVM and uh, we will also talk about thin provision LVM LVM is uh, something we will mix up uh, or some partition in a group and uh, these part all partitions will be a part of a group and we will take some disk from that group and that will be a logical volume so that will be a lv okay so it was brief about lvm and we will start lvm in next tutorial